So we're talking again today about the fruit of the Spirit, and this is a passage found in Galatians 5. And we mentioned last week that the fruit of the Spirit is singular since it's a package deal. There's not many fruits, but one fruit from one Spirit, and they have many manifestations or outpourings. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control, right? Now, having heard many messages through this topic throughout the years, as a young Christian, I always ask myself the million dollar question, and that is, how do I walk in the fruit of the Spirit, right? How does, what does this exactly look like? Like, how do I put it on, if you will? Um, and it's very much like the armor of God, right? How do I put this armor on? Notice Paul contrasts it with the deeds of the flesh. So the fruit of the Spirit are the opposite of the deeds of the flesh, meaning when we walk in Christ's ways, when we walk according to His Word, when we are exercising and hearing God moving in our lives rather than our own sensual and sinful desires, we are thereby walking by the Spirit's power. It's not some esoteric thing, but rather we're obeying that which God commands us to obey, and we're turning that uh, from that which God calls us to shun. Hopefully that helps.